Hey guys, my name is Scubby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to blur someone's face in Photoshop. This is going to be a nice, quick, and easy tutorial on screen right now. You can see a quick example. Let's start from the beginning and showing you step by step how to recreate this. The first thing I want to do is select an elliptical marquee tool, which is up under here underneath the move tool. And all you have to do is hold and left click and then select the type of tool you wish. Once you have the elliptical marquee tool selected, you're going to want to draw an ellipse over a person's face slightly bigger than their face. Once the ellipse is drawn, you can move around the selected ellipse. Once you have the elliptical marquee tool selected, Selected, and you'll be able to move it around easily onto the face to make sure it's perfectly around them. Once you have the elliptical marquee around the person's face, you're going to be coming up to select. We're going to be going to modify and we're going to be adding a small feather to around their face. Now this is so we can blend the blur a bit more naturally into the background. and doesn't look as sharp with the edges. Usually around a 10 to 20 feather radius is good. In this case, I'm going to be sticking to 20 and I'm going to be clicking enter. From here, I'm going to be bringing our blur to a new layer by clicking control and J or command and J if you're on a Mac. So we have the face on a new layer. If we hide the original background image, you can see we have his face here. The main reason we put it to a new layer is in case you want to remove the blur later and you want to just go back to the default image. It makes it a bit easier for that. So once that's complete, we're going to be making sure we have our new layer selected and we're going to be adding our blur. So we're going to be going up to filter. We're going to be going to blur and we're going to be adding a Gaussian blur. In this case, we're going to zoom out a little bit if your image is big and we're going to be finding the person's face that we've selected. In this case, I need to zoom out a bit more. We have the intensity slider down here at the bottom and we can see a preview of what this blur is going to look like. If you don't have a preview, select the preview button on the right hand side and we'll be able to select the exact amount of blur we need for this image. In this case, 38 is fine. It kind of makes the face completely unnoticeable. Of course, you can put this up if you wish. 40, any more than that and it just looks too mental. It's kind of too mushy around the image. Usually 30 to 50 is a nice sweet spot, but it really depends on the image. I'm going to click OK, and this is one type of blur you can expect. Of course, there's different types of blurs you can expect, which I'll show you on screen right now with some text underneath them to show you the different types of blurs. So it's really easy. All you have to do is go up to Filter, go to Blur, and then select the type of blur you wish to use. It really just depends on the type of image you have or the type of effect you're going for with your blur. Of course, this will also work on license plates. Whatever else you want to blur in the background of an image or in the foreground, this will work really easily for that. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this story, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to leave my Photoshop tutorial playlist in the description down below. If you want to support the channel, I'm going to leave my PayPal link in the description. Of course, there's no pressure if you can't. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.